Good morning, Facebook. What's up? Well, I'm up at the moment. Cup of coffee. Not bad. <clears throat> so I'm going to be working on some Ingorn napkin this morning there before I get uh, working on the Ron and Ragdolls comic. Just to, uh, you know, warm up, get some stuff done. I thought I'd just, uh, you know, put the camera up here and record it while I'm at it. Why not? So, first things first, need some tunes. Let's see. How do I turn my camera around? Oh, there's the button. Morning, Renee. Renee. <laughs> With an E at the end. Alright, we got some Lucifer on tap today. Let's get that happening. Great album. Oh, yeah. Hey, Paul. What's up? Alright. I can set this thing up here so we can actually see what I'm doing. I got a strip started from the other day, so I'm going to be working on just getting this tightened up, the pencils finished on that. Fun stuff! Morning, Poe! That guy needs to learn to take orders. Hey, John, what's up, buddy? Mmm, good coffee. Alright, so hopefully I can set this up so I can actually see, you know, what I'm doing and have to keep a chameleon-like eyeball on the questions and comments you guys are making. Alright. So this is episode strip number 127. Hey Jason. So spry in the morning. Holy crap, I've been up for hours. Have kids, you'll find out. That and insomnia, you know. Bit of both. Alright. Alright, Ren. You have a good one too? People in your day jobs. Real jobs. <laughs> Yellow. much to this one. I could probably pencil tighten this up as we go, but I won't. Should be working. Should be hanging out at receivers, my man. Yeah, I figured doing like a live stream at this time of the day would be pointless because most people are at work or, you know, they're not sitting around on Facebook. But hey, maybe you are sitting around on Facebook. I knew there'd be someone out there who would be. Time zones are the best. Every time I have a deadline with IDW, they're in San Diego, so I got an extra four hours to like get my work done. Those four hours really come in handy. Anyone who's not on my Patreon hasn't probably been following the Ingor Napkin strips for the last while, but I've been doing about six to eight new strips a month now, so I'm determined to get this book finished. So, uh, what's going on here in the comic right now is they're still on the quest to solve the mystery of the Golden MacGuffin, and uh, their quest has led them to the frigid north of Canada 
where they are currently attempting to steal the Stanley Cup and they're going into uh, Maple Leaf Gardens in disguise. So that'd be, you know, golf disguise and a basketball disguise and a football disguise. Because they know about as much about hockey as I do, so it seemed appropriate. <laughs> it could be, for all I know. Like I said, I don't know a thing about hockey. Of course, they think the Stanley Cup is called the Stan Lee Cup. Ha ha ha. See you, Greg. Have a good one, buddy. Thumbs up. Hey, Mike, what's up, man? if you were alive you can if you want to I won't hear you probably but feel free to you know curse as much as you want This is the one I've got the least worked out. Later, Jason. Larry, yes, I am coming to ECCE this year. Booyah. Yeah, I gotta lock in uh, the, this, the balloons first there so I can kind of work around them. Like, I got my little thumbnail up here from the script. I kind of just roughly block it in and then kind of do the tighten up version here. But yeah, I got to get those locked down in case they interact with the characters in some way or not. You got it, my man. And I'm looking forward to getting over to Moncton, seeing everybody again. Kind of get a little squirrely here in PEI with, uh, I want to say the long winter we've had, but it's just like I'm, I've had enough of being kind of stuck indoors. So, get out and actually see some people. Graham Putnam's on board. Uh, no, I don't. I didn't go to North Carolina with Brenda, but I wanted to. 
Next year I gotta get them to invite me because I really wanna go. Beatrice is dressed up like a Harlem Globetrotter type here. Gotta give her some like Air Jordans or something. Big basketball pump sneakers. Stupid squid bag. <laughs> I like literal sound effects, you know, if it's kick, bright kick, I don't know, it's funny to me. Kevin Colden does that a lot, he's got a really great book called, uh, Far Arden, and he'll like literally draw a guy punching a shark and the sound effect will be shark punch. It's, it's awesome, you should check it out. I wanted to have the arrow point at Beatrice, but then it's gonna cut through Molly's head, so I guess I'm gonna to have to join these balloons. All right, that's probably good enough to start tightening up. So, I'll just take my old gummy eraser here and kind of just lighten the blue, knock it back so I can kind of use the pencil to tighten up over top of it and just kind of lock it down. <clears throat> This is how I do it. Other people do it differently. Smart people use computers, but I don't know. I like doing uh, everything on paper. Top of the morning, Arden.
still won't be super tight, but this will give me something that I can easily clean up, uh, with ink. So the first time I saw him was at the annual city festival at the end of the plaza on uh, Bunker Hill, uh, also known as the Island of Misfits. Uh, it's like a mound of black leather, army surface jackets and boots, and spiky big white hairdos and mohawks. Second generation explosion mine threat from six pistols, patches and stuff. Basically. in Jeff Jason was on here a few minutes ago you guys could have been hanging out
probably adjust this in Photoshop or something so her head's not touching there. Well, that, there's kind of one. So that's good enough to take and leave for inking. Whenever I'm inking these things, I'll, I'll scan this stuff here and put them on a piece of bristle board. So when they're done and inked, they'll all look like that there. Nice and clean. Yay! I usually do two on the sheet just to fill up the sheet. Paper saver because environment. Yeah, right, panel two. She's a broken arm, just in case you're wondering why that's a thing.
All right, there's two panels done so far. Let's get rid of the big football Mallory. Morning, Nelly. What are you doing up so early? Or have you not gone to bed yet? Alright, Arden, you take off, man. Have a good day. Laces out. Laces out. I'm sure somebody knows what I'm talking about. Then points to Gryffindor if you can shout out what movie that's from. takers, eh?
one, two, three, boom, last panel, then moving on. Stick around to the end, I'll give you a sneak peek of the Ron and Ragdoll stuff. My coffee's cold. But I can't leave my desk. Phone's down to 20% battery. Will I make it? Yeah, I'll make it. I'm almost done here. Got like Charlie Brown feet.
that's good enough for this one. So I got everything I need there to just take that, scan it, and uh, do some do some inking cleanup stuff after. Alright, as promised, I'll show you some uh, Ron and Ragdoll stuff I got going here. Pull that on my desk a bit. I got the, the character designs over there for Tezuka. See it up there? I can't see it up there. There, Otomo and Miyazaki. Just a quick reference. Ah, and they're falling off my desk. Got some Kevin Eastman thumbnails up here for some of the pages I'm working on. I'll be working on this year page today. Doing the, the kind of same thing I'm doing with the Nordak and just roughing it out. Those are our big two page splash. Yep. Um, let's see, yesterday what I got here. I got Kevin's uh, Kevin's thumbnail here all blown up nice and big, eh? Which is pretty cool. And then, quick sneak peek there. There you go. So, version Kevin, version me, which is of course upside down, right? Let's fix that. There you go. Version me. So, yeah. I'll show you too much of that stuff. That's all surprises. Okay. Anyway, we got some Ingor napkin done, and now I'm switching over to the Ron and Ride dolls for the rest of the day. Let me just play around here. Hey! So, this was fun. Um, I need to get some more hot coffee and then uh, get back at it. Uh, when can you expect to see the ragdolls? Um, working on it, uh, drawing blood. Ben Bishop's working on blo drawing blood. And uh, I think we're trying to have something out uh, in time for Comic Con there, San Diego Comic Con. Should be hopefully going to press for that. So hopefully, y'all on the Kickstarter for that. And uh, if you guys want to see some more stuff of Ingor Napkin, uh, things like that, like sign up on my Patreon there. I've got a promotion going on this month there. You can win original artwork from Powerpuff Girls um, just by being a member. So throw in a buck, you know, you're in the draw. There's only like a few people, like 15, 16 people on my Patreon. So your odds are pretty good. Um, but I'm trying to grow the Patreon there so I can, you know, help support, do my creative and independent comic stuff. So, you know, tell your friends if you want to see some more Ingor Napkin or behind the scenes stuff. I've got a lot of stuff there that, uh, I post on Patreon, I don't post on any of my uh, other social media. So, worth checking out if you're, you know, keen on that sort of thing. And big thumbs up, thank you, from the indie comic creator over here. So, I'm going to go and refill my empty cold coffee. Mm. And yeah, we'll see you guys later. Thanks for hanging out.